Hi, this is Devin Simmons, and I'm at the Farmington High School Science Fair on Thursday, February 1st, 2001. I'm going to interview some people tonight, hopefully get some good information, and see who's going to win to go to district in the Science Fair competitions for Science Fair District. Hi, my name is Hunter Warren, and my partner is Brentley Wilson. He's not here, but this is my project. It's called Mars Plant Life. It deals with plants being grown on Mars for, for colonizing Mars, so it'll be easier to get food on Mars. It would cost much less, and I'd really like to get first base, just for the fun. I am here with... Mrs. Gaddis. And I'm going to ask her a few questions on the science fair tonight. Okay, on the science fair tonight, there's a bunch of participants. How many would you say there is? Uh, this year we had 58 students and 49 projects. Okay, um, and this, all these students here tonight, what do you expect them to learn out of this? We want them to learn uh, how to put the scientific method into operation, to pick a problem, um, design a plan, a scientific plan to uh, gather data and reach a conclusion, and um, hopefully to put you know to put to use the scientific method in in an enjoyable way something they can learn from why would you recommend this for students next year um, you know we see a decreased uh, participation in science fairs kids go from elementary to junior high and the competition is um, a lot less at this level and the opportunities are great for kids to apply for scholarships and to um, be recognized by schools uh, within our state for for scholarships and um, there's a lot of prize money and um, lots of schools look for kids who do independent projects in math and science. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. That's it for the science fair. Good luck to all those who made district. This is Devin for Scorp TV. I'm here with the Farmington High School looking at some of the projects, so let's check some of them out. Well, that's the science fair. We saw how some projects did, and a lot of them did really good, and they placed and they're going on. This year we had um, 49 projects exhibit and because we have team category it uh, ended up that we had 58 students participating at our school fair. Uh, most of these projects will go to district which will be at Farmington Civic Center uh, February 16th and 17th. 
um, tonight. They were judged all in the same um, division, in that senior division. And now when they go on, some of them will move to junior division and some will compete still at senior. We had 14 categories presented here um, this evening, which um, represents all of the categories that um, present at, at most fairs. Paper competition is a separate competition from science fair that's generally held at the same time as science fair. We're not having a competition for that here at Farmington High School, but anyone who's interested in competing can come talk to me in room 321, and what they'll do is present the science project they did in, um, in 10 minutes to a series of three judges, and it's a separate competition, so it's a separate way to go on to the state and international competitions.
So I would suggest you redo it and and just make a, like a 10 centimeter hole in the window and put a piece of foam board there that will f and shine that on the 10 centimeter hole of the window and put the thermometer on the other side of that and take out the aluminum and the metal, uh, the wood frame and the other there and the vinyl frame. There are two very, there's too many variables there. Just stick with the glaze. You're testing more than one thing. And, uh, and another thing you could do, I hadn't thought about this, but you could, uh, as a control, right? you could just keep the same distance between the white light and the air. Nothing in between. Yeah, that would be real good. <coughs> to see if the single pane does anything. Single pane. I don't think they do anything. Actually, I did do that. They stopped the wind. <laughs> Um, and that's a, and that would wind brings that other variable in there. And uh, another thing you might try, um, if you're shining it into a box in order to avoid it, in order, to, why don't you try a using a uh, thermistor with a digital readout and bolts so that you don't have to look at the inside and look at the thermometer. You just put it in there. You can have leads leading out. Um, and. Um, Who's your teacher? Ms. Howe. Okay, you have Ms. Howe talk to the crazy chemistry teacher and we will help you with that. Okay? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, it's on. Hi. Here with Mr. Fincher's physical science class E and check out what's going on. Fincher's physical science class. This is a ninth grade requirement, so join in. Because we do a bunch of labs in this class. Science is wonderful because we do labs. Science is fun. The good thing about science class is that uh, 
People live, learn, <coughs> people learn in different ways. Some people like to read, some people like to listen, uh, some people like to actually do things with their hands. Uh, and the good thing about science class is that you, uh, you get a chance to do all that different stuff. Uh, we, uh, we, we have a textbook and we read from the textbook and we also have lectures but half of uh, science class is actually doing labs so we get to go out we get to do things it's a lot of uh, hands-on type of learning um, which uh, a lot of people like uh, and, and respond well to because people have different styles of learning and uh, science class allows people to learn in, in all different styles I'm Aaron Lee, this is Mr. Fincher's class, and I like his class. We need to do a bunch of labs, and if you want, come join. This is Mr. Fincher's physical science class. We have lots of fun, we do lots of labs in here. So come and join it next year. Is your best shot. Physics is above par. Physics is the bomb. A course in physics is a grand slam. Once you start physics, you can't always stop. Physics is a blast. With Joe Kelly, for being here. Joe, I'm one bad motherfucker. Last words in case you don't make it. Dude, I'm not gonna die. I have this helmet on. Oh, no.